I would rather say that if we put them there to control inflation, we hold them to account. We need to speak to their performance. Um, but I will begin my comment with a very important uh, observation, I mean, which can be derived from what the Apache presented. That you saw that there were a lot of consumer category of goods <coughs> or expenditure items that had higher inflation than the reported inflation. Okay? And if you look at those things, those things constitute uh, the higher percentage of expenditure by people who are poor. Right? So if you take them out of the equation and evaluate this presentation, then they are experiencing disproportionately severe negative effects of inflation. These are the people who should be more concerned. So if I'm a finance minister or I'm a governor the Bank of Canada, I should be measuring my performance by the way I am able to elevate these shocks on these vulnerable members of the society. So that is a disclaimer in terms of the uh, statistics presented. Um, from the presentation, we saw that uh, Ghana, like many other countries, have migrated from the old way of the uh, monetary policy framework, what you call the monetary target, to inflation target. I remember vividly that I visited, I was then in Canada, I visited Ghana in 2007, and uh, IT was being sold to Ghana. And I remember a conference, conference in Elimina, uh, I confronted one of the presidents who was at the time a member of the MPC and questioned him very directly that why, why are you talking about inflation targeting for Ghana the way that British or the Canadians or the Australians would talk about it when our economy is not the same as theirs and for that matter we have significant supply side rigidities that these people don't have, and for that matter, as he presented, demand determine more of price rises in those economies, whilst ours, demand would also contribute, but not as significant as the supply side. In fact, the answer I got was that all those would be taken into consideration. But from what we have observed, uh, when inflation target was implemented in 2007 up to today, I think it's only about 2014 that we're able to achieve inflation lower than uh, the, the, the lower band, which is commendable. But from 2007 up to today, we have missed the target almost consistently, which is not a good report card on us as we determine to target Inflation targeting, like what, what has been presented, is, it works very well in societies where uh, almost everybody's consumption pattern depends on interest rates. Almost, okay? Even if you go to an ordinary restaurant, you see people take their credit card to buy food. So simple food prices or Desire to buy food would depend on the level of interest rate in the economy, in those economies, right? But in our case, it is not so much of a case, okay? Most, <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little sick, so. Most, most of, most of our consumption pattern has nothing to do with interest rate. That, 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 that is a very part of it. But what is important is that Adopting inflation targeting is a very fantastic idea. We all know that, okay? I'm not going to bore you with the story behind it, but in a, targeting monetary aggregates was not a good idea. That is why inflation targeting was, uh, was adopted. Simply like this. If you can make your case very well direct to the judge, you don't need a lawyer, right? So. If you want to control inflation, why don't you target inflation directly, but instead go through targeting monetary aggregate, which would require some intermediate workings before it hits inflation. So adopting inflation targeting is a great idea. What is important 
Iranian economies, including ours, is to determine the significant causes of your inflation and find a way to incorporate it into the film. Whether that would be done directly by the central bank, like Eastern Bank, could be, or in the Ministry of Finance by spending and food, uh, food supply and that kind, all those kind of uh, important activities that impact on the prices of things in this economy that are supply constraints but not demand dependent. <coughs> So, but if you listen carefully to, from the beginning to the end, he has said that, uh, like I have said, inflation again is good, but we need to look at all other things. And he listed them, fiscal policy, food prices, and food prices, and transportation. He listed them all. If you look critically at those, and if we want to incorporate them into the monetary framework, there's almost one bullet that can help us achieve all these multiple goals. Like the human nervous system, production, production capacity, and effective distribution of goods and services once produced seem to look like one size fits all, or one bullet kills all. What do I He talked about food, so production will solve the problem. He talked about um, fuel. Ghana is a significant producer of oil. Production will solve the problem. He talks about fiscal policy. Fiscal policy has a effect on inflation due to excessive borrowing by government and spending on consumption expenditure instead of productive capacity, changing the production capacity. If government A can spend more on investment, <coughs> spend more on investment to increase the production capacity, and also if production in the economy is increasing more, then government will be able to raise more money, more revenue, and will not be running deficit. And will not be running deficit. And the food prices, if we have a lot of productive capacity, very good distribution system for food to reach everybody prices will not be rising that much. So if the central bank and government are serious in achieving inflation target as we so desire, though the target is a lot higher and can reduce it over time once we do better, then I think it boils down to increasing productive capacity in this country. Because with that, the exchange rate program will not be as binding as it is today. With that, the transportation problem will not be as vital as it is today. And the food crisis that we have, for that matter, falling disproportionately on those who are so poor in this country, will not be an issue. I think I can have further discussion on this once we get to the question and advice. Thank you.